The SBIR program is small business. It's less than 500 employees. It's a U.S. program, so the company has to be owned by individuals who are U.S. citizens or permanent residents, has to be located in the United States. Um, those companies are eligible and for SBIR, and the money comes to them, and they also have to have a scientist or engineer who's qualified and works majority of their time at the company. And they conduct most or all of the work. They have the provision to have others help them, so they can hire consultants, they can go to Western Michigan University or University of Michigan and say, we need some work done. But they have to do most of the work. And that's essentially not eight-ninths of the money. So okay. most of the money is in that program. Okay. There's another program called STTR. It's a sister program. It has the same eligibility requirements. But in the STTR program, the small business, who's still the applicant, they still write the proposal, they still get the money, are required to collaborate with a university or nonprofit research okay. institution. So here in Michigan, obviously our universities would fit that as an institution like Van Andel Research Institute, mm -hmm. which isn't a university, but it's a nonprofit research institution. Okay. In an STTR then, which is only one ninth of the budget, so it's a much smaller pot of the $2.5 billion, mm -hmm. um, the small business finds a collaborative partner, the small business applies, the small business gets the money, they then hire through a subcontract, okay. that collaborator, to do some of the work. Okay. The other difference is they can subcontract a little more. So if I'm doing an STTR and I'm working with Van Andel, they can do a little bit more of the work than in an SBIR. Okay. And the other difference is if I'm working with Van Andel in an SBIR, I still have to have the key scientist working for me as the principal investigator in an SBIR. In an STTR, the principal investigator can work either at Van Andel or at my company. So it's not a requirement that they work at the university, but that a university is a partner for an university STTR? The university is a partner for an STTR, and it okay. gives you the option. If the most qualified person to lead the project is at the university, and that person can't come and work for you, right. the STTR gives you the option of um, having the, the head scientist, referred to as the principal investigator, work at the university. Can't happen in an STBIR. They have to come work for you.